Hey you guys, I hope you all are having a good day. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to talk about my top six compact powders that are cruelty free. They are from drugstore, very affordable and they work amazing on my skin. If you're new here, hi, my name is Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty free, which means products that are not tested on animals. I also talk about vegan beauty and lifestyle tips. Now, if this is the kind of content that you resonate with, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I put up a video. You guys, my voice is so stuffy. My eyes are so teary-eyed, so this eyeliner here got so wonky. I think I'm coming down with the flu. I really don't know, but it's not a good time. It's so difficult to talk, but I really wanted to shoot this video because I want to get all my content out there and schedule it out, you know? So in the past two years, I've been trying out a lot of different Indian drugstore makeup as well as Indian luxury makeup. Um, I tried out a lot of different compact powders. Some of them really failed me. I spoke about that in my makeup fails video. If you haven't watched it, please check it out. It's really funny. There's so many fails there. But these six are the ones that really stuck with me because they work really well. These are sheer to medium coverage. So these are not full coverage compact powders. Very rarely will you get a full coverage compact powder and even then it's going to be really cakey on your skin. I don't really like full coverage compact powders. I'm okay with a sheer to medium coverage. The first one is my all-time favorite compact powder from the Indian market, hands down. This is the Faces Canada Weightless Matte Compact Powder. It's got SPF 20, vitamin E, and shea butter. I'm in the shade range 01 and 02. 01 is ivory, 02 is natural. Both of these work the same way on my skin. You have a mirror on this side and this is what 01 and 02 look like. I know in the pan they look very different. This has a very strong rosy undertone and this one has a very strong yellow undertone. But on the skin, both of these work literally the same on my skin tone because I do have a cool toned skin. So both of these look pretty much the same on my skin tone. Now, of course, on days when I have a little bit more of a tan or if I'm feeling a little red on my face and I'll go in with this because this is the closest to my skin tone then. But on the other day, is honestly both of these work the same now I think the reason why they look so similar on my skin tone is because it's a sheer coverage and not a very heavy coverage you can easily apply this over your foundation you can easily apply this over BB cream just by itself on your sunscreen it'll really set everything you can't really use this under your under eyes if you have a lot of lines to set your makeup it's gonna really look weird but overall this is a very very good compact powder so this is the one that I use all over my face in every single video that I shoot because I don't apply foundation, I just apply concealer, 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 and then I just go on top with this. This is the one that I absolutely love. So this is what the swatches look like. Very sheer coverage. This is 02 and this is 01. This has a more rosy undertone and this one's got a more yellow undertone. Now this is obviously after I go ham with my fingers and then I take a swatch. If you use it with your brush, it's a very nice coverage. I like to use all of these compact powders with a brush. It's a more even distribution of product and also it doesn't feel cakey. Next one is from Color Bar and this is what it looks like. Woo, so reflective. I really like this packaging. This is the Perfect Match Compact and this is in 001 Classic Ivory. This is what it looks like. I know it looks really light in the pan, but on my skin, it just looks really good. I think that's because it oxidizes ever so slightly. It's got a mirror on this side. Now in the pan, honestly, I thought it looked really pale. I thought maybe I should go in with a number two or a number three. I still haven't tried the number two, number three and the other shades. Maybe I should, but even then, this just works really well on my skin tone, you guys. This is a very, very nice compact. This is a good medium coverage. So this is what the swatch looks like. So here we have the 02 from Faces Canada. Here we have the 01 from Faces Canada. And this is the color bar one. So this is definitely more pigmented. It will definitely give you a medium coverage. You can easily use this by yourself. I wouldn't recommend layering this over your foundation. Yes, you can use it over your um, sunscreen, but definitely not over the foundation because it looked too cakey. I've used this to set my under eye area and it works really well. However, I still prefer loose powders for setting my under eye because I have puffy eyes and I have like these lines, which you need a good setting powder for. A compact powder just doesn't do it for me. Now it does have a little bit of fallout, you guys. You see that it does have a little bit of fallout. The Faces Canada one doesn't have a lot of fallout. I find this to be a slightly dry formula, but that's perfectly fine. I really like it on my skin. It doesn't look cakey at all. I can use it by itself. I can use it over my sunscreen. 
I, again, would recommend using a brush because this is a medium coverage, so you don't want it to get really cakey. But then again, that's totally your preference. What works for you might not work for me and vice versa. I do find this a little bit pricey compared to the other ones. This is at $7.25 and you can always get a good 10 or 15% off on Nika or on the Purple app or maybe on the website directly. But I really like this. I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to splurge a little bit more. This is definitely three times the cost of the Faces Canada one. The next one is from LA Girl and this is the Pro Face HD Matte Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Creamy Natural. Now this is what it looks like. And on the other side, you have a mirror on this side right here. I like the fact that it's got these holes right here for ventilation, which means your sponge won't be damp. It won't get any mold and whatnot. The packaging is definitely more bulky if you compare it with both of the compact powders from Color Bar and Faces Canada. Even when you just compare a single one, this is definitely more bulky. Packaging is definitely not luxurious any anyway. This looks very American drugstore, complete plastic and whatnot. And this costs way more than the Faces Canada one. But look at the packaging, you guys. This looks way more luxurious, even though it just costs 200 bucks. I really like the effort that's gone into this packaging. I would like to whip this out, you know, in a party because this looks nice but this is a medium coverage compact powder it is very very powdery it has a lot of fallout check that out it has a lot of fallout that being said it is definitely a medium coverage look at that very similar to the color bar one it's a very very medium coverage it's again a very dry formula so make sure that you moisturize your skin make sure that you've applied um, a good hydrating cream underneath because this can be a little drying just a heads up because compact powders are dry and if you have dry skin, it just looks a little flaky. Now compared to the Color Bar and also the Faces Canada one, I like the shade range of LA Girl. You will definitely find colors for deeper, darker, warmer skin tones and also cool and warm skin tones. Unlike these two brands because they just have, I think, what, five, six seven shades i don't even know not a lot of shades for the warmer darker skin tones i highly recommend this to anybody who doesn't like foundations who doesn't like bb creams just wants a nice medium coverage compact powder on the go this is a great great product i highly recommend it this has been my favorite since two years now this is the only brand in this entire collection that is not indian absolutely love it highly recommend it the next one is the Lacme Absolute Perfect Radiance Skin Lightening Compact with SPF 23, UVA, UVB protection. The one thing that I'm not a fan of is the skin lightening word. They could have easily used another word like brightening or glowing. The fact that they want to promote it as lightening is something that I'm not a fan of. That being said, this is a very budget-friendly compact powder. This is what it looks like. It comes with a mirror, but it just, it was so clumsy, it just fell off. And every time I used to open this compact powder, the mirror would fall out, so I just yanked it off. This is in the shade 01 Ivory Fair. I still feel it's too dark for Ivory Fair, but somehow it just matches my skin tone. This one does oxidize a bit. So this is my problem with it, that it oxidizes a bit, so I cannot use it on bare skin. I will have to use a primer or a sunscreen or something that gives me a brightening effect, and only then I can use it. So while it does look like an okay match for my skin tone, it does oxidize within five minutes on my skin. I cannot apply this on bare skin. I have to go in with a primer or I have to use um, a mineral sunscreen underneath so that it can give me a brightening effect since this oxidizes. It's funny because it's a skin lightening compact and it oxidizes and makes you look darker. So funny. But anyway, this is just for 180 bucks. So this is great for anybody who's new to makeup, anybody who goes to college, high school, um, doesn't want to splurge too much on compact powders just wants a few touch-ups here and there this is a very good one this is what the shade looks like it's a little dark and it does oxidize I wish they had a lighter shade now even though I love the faces Canada one and the price range is very similar under 200 bucks the reason why I keep purchasing this is because it's got some SPF to it the color bar one and the LA girl one does not have SPF in it so in the daytime when I'm running errands, if I have to go grocery shopping and all of that, I can easily apply some SPF 30 or SPF 20 underneath and go in with this compact powder like a finishing touch and look presentable. So this is why I keep purchasing this. But if I had a choice to choose between the Faces Canada one and this, it's definitely going to be the Faces Canada one, you guys. I absolutely love this. Now the fifth compact powder is from Sugar Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. Again, a very bulky packaging. This is in the shade range 15 Cappuccino, which is not my shade. The shade range that I work with is the 10 Latte. So here are the shades. This one is the 10 Latte and this one's a 15 Cappuccino. 
both of these look very similar but this looks a little dark on my skin i bought this online i didn't swatch it at a store and it turned out to be a little darker because these oxidize a bit on my skin so if you have very oily skin i recommend applying a primer underneath because these will make you look a little darker on bare skin now i think this is the lightest shade i'm not too sure it oxidizes so i would want something that's slightly lighter so that if it oxidizes it comes back to this shade which works on my skin i'll quickly show you the packaging so when you open this up you have a mirror you have the compact you flip it i used once and then never used again it also doesn't have the ventilation you guys so if it doesn't have a ventilation what happens is that your sponge can get very moldy and smelly and you don't want that it's always good to have holes here so that it can breathe right through and the air can pass in easily now what i like about this is that it does not have a lot of fallout yes it has a bit because it's a compact powder but it doesn't have a lot of fallout i really like it i can easily apply this over my foundation over my bb cream over my sunscreen even on bare skin but with a primer because this does oxidize a bit let me do a swatch for you guys real quick so this one is latte and this one's cappuccino. This is the shade that I work with the most. So I'm still on my first purchase. I've not repurchased these. I really like them. I would like it if the brand had a formula that doesn't oxidize, had more shade range definitely for the warmer skin tones as well as different undertones, you guys. Final sixth compact powder that I absolutely love is a very old school favorite in the Indian market. This is the old school Lakme compact powder, which is priced at just 155 rupees. This is in the shade Natural Marble, which is the closest to my skin tone. It comes with a nice mirror on this side. This is a shade. It looks really good. It's the closest match to my skin tone. And what I like about this is that it does not oxidize. It also doesn't have a lot of fallout as compared to the LA Girl one. I think it's so budget friendly and such an amazing find. If you are tight on budget and you want a good compact powder, this is definitely the one for you. I really like it. Again, the shade range is very questionable. Um, I really hope Lakme starts creating good color combinations for cooler skin tones as well as for warmer, deeper, darker skin tones. So this is what the swatch looks like. So it looks a little lighter here, you guys, because I have a tan on my hand. But if I would have swatched it here, it would have looked fine. This is the perfect shade for my skin tone. I really like the formula, you guys. It's such a creamy finish. It's not very dry. does not have a lot of fallout. Very, very budget friendly. You can easily layer this by itself on your skin. You can use it on your BB cream, SPF, on your foundation. Either way, it's going to work amazing. I used to see this all the time at drug stores, at pharmacies, grocery stores, because Lakme is everywhere. And I don't know why never bought it you guys this is such an amazing product the only tiny problem that i have with this is that it has added perfume i don't like perfume in my compact powders you guys because it stays for a while and this smells literally like baby talc like baby powder not a fan of that but it's a very very good compact powder if you're okay with that slight fragrance which does fade away after two three hours this is the one for you highly recommend it and that's it, you guys. Those are all my compact powders that I absolutely love, which are cruelty-free as well as drugstore finds. The only problem that I have with most of them is that they don't have a wider shade range, except the LA Girl one, which is an American brand. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit that like button so that I know you enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to be creating a lot more videos. I've already done my favorite eyeliners video. I've also done my favorite skincare videos. So now I'm going to jump into the makeup. We're going to have a lot of blushes highlighters liquid highlighters and everything coming very soon okay you guys i'm gonna bounce but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel check out my previous videos right here i will catch you all later be safe be good don't forget to shop only cruelty free bye